Good afternoon, my name is Uldis and in this video I will show you how to operate with configurations, how to export them in, in the EVE Community Edition. Um, let's grab my scratchings. Yeah. EVE Community Edition support all IOL devices, Cisco IOL, and which are very popular in routing and switching studies when people are creating huge topologies and you have to use initial configurations like a troubleshoot with the implemented faults, so this feature will be very useful. Dynamips all devices which are supported in EVE, CSR, all devices, VIOS, which coming from Varel, ASA and ASAV, all versions, XRV, Arista V, EOS switches, VPC, which is very, a very small uh, PC host, it's people will know it from uh, GNS3, and the popular Juniper devices, SRX, VMX, and VQFX. Let's start. I created some lab and with nodes which supporting and one node which is not supporting export just for show to you. So here we are. Uh, how to operate with configurations, export, and what it is. So we have to understand two major things and two diff actually difference between them. We have when we when you are running and working in your lab, you saving your configuration particularly into the inside of the Eve node into the NVRAM. It is like in a real router. Once I'm working on it, you can see that R1 is configured something and I'm saying we are. So this configuration is saved in NVRAM inside of this node. Uh, dear Unix, I believe it did, did Unix was, yes, NVRAM is saved here. So this is running configuration and once you will stop your node, once you will stop your node, let me stop a node, okay, node stop it and you want to continue where you left your lab and you starting your node again and let's check if the configuration, because node and present moment, the node is booting where you left it. So it's booting from NVRAM. Okay, enable and show run. If I'm giving show run, you will see the configuration where I stop at my node. The next one, the next one is exported configuration from NVRAM. So what does it mean? It means I can configure something on my node, like here, and use it later and boot my node exactly from this configuration whatever you will do now yeah it's a, will configure it, but i can create some initial configuration and save it actually export it and later m boot my node from it let's start to do it step by step this is this is a difference between nvram which is currently running inside of node and exported configuration which will be grab it from here and send to export it. Let me show you how to do it. How to save configuration to VR. It is very simple and you must know it is VR on the Cisco nodes. On, a, on the Juniper it is commit, right? And XR it is enable oh, ad, oops, admin admin and conf t and commit as well. So just remember, before you start to send your NVRAM configurations to export it, the all nodes must be saved. Okay? Um, it is switch. Switch is a little bit tricky, but I will show you. As you know, the switch is a problem is the VLANs because VLANs are saved in spe specific file. Show flash, I believe, on this device. No. Or dear flash, dear flash, yeah, no, it's not found, okay, but anyway, the VLANs are saved in a very specific file, VLAN dot, and this VLAN dot we cannot export, but what we can do and how we can get the VLANs out in our configuration, what I'm doing, that let me advise, conf t, and I'm setting VTP mode transparent, all right? do show VLAN, you see that the VLANs persist here, some 10, 20, 30, and, and show run, 
and if you are going show run, you will see when you set to VTP transparent in the configuration running configuration appears the VLANs. This means that these VLANs will be exported to the will be sent to exported configuration as well. And you'll know that in next boot will grab these VLANs and will boot with VLANs. So just remember for switches, good is to set. And if you need your VLANs to be in, in switch, set to transparent is good. So export from, fig from, so VLANs I shown. Number five, export configuration. Once you did, once you did and be sure that you save it into NVRAM everything, show VR for, on for switch. We we will start to export your saved configurations. We will export your saved configurations right here into the startups here. Okay, let's do it. You can do it only for single node with a right click export configurations. But if you wish, you can mark some couple of nodes and export configuration or you can do for whole lab. I will do it for whole lab because I'm pretty sure that I uh, let me open up. So with the control you can mark your devices which you wanna console. Okay. Oh, quickly, quickly, quickly short video and console to all devices. So I market my devices and I'm getting the consoles to them. Let to be sure commit. Yeah, this is this is very important point because people usually make a uh, make mistake that they did not VR and problem starts. So save is command for VP VPCs VPC. So there is a commit. Okay, CSR is a Cisco, so it is a VR. Switch is Cisco, enable VR, switch one, we save it already, VR, and other devices, VR, oops, enable VR, and enable VR, enable VR, and VR, done. So configurations are saved, and I'm going to save and send yeah export my all so what it does this command will grab all your configurations which currently save it on your notes and will send to startup configuration here if you are going to startup you can see the all nodes which supporting the configuration it appears here but they are blank nothing is here let me export the configurations now i am doing export all configurations okay you can you can do it by what for one node on, uh, as well. So export started and let's check on the right side some blue. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Windows export is not supported. It is not an error guys. It is just a warning because Windows host is not not supporting such. So it is fine that you will see some node which is inside of your lab we will show you some red balloon and so because it is not supported for export windows it is actually not possible to export because there are huge hard drives creating created inside and if to use it for export it uh, it will raise your hard drive inside of it drastically so export it all done you will see that all done that's mean everything is fine and how to how to check where are they we are going to startup configurations and I'm clicking on a, any node which is in my lab and look at this, right? The configuration is sent from NVRAM to this place. Okay. So let me close. Export is done. And how to edit exported configuration? That's very good. You can edit these configurations manually. So I would like to that the IP address will be 100, for example, here or uh, in a switch one, I would like to add, for example, uh, VLAN 50 and VLAN 60. Okay. Or I need, this is a one trick for CSR. Let me explain. Even you see that interface gigabit one is not having, has not shut down command. I recommend to add no shoot because all 
CSRs when they start starting from uh, default configuration all interfaces will be in shutdown state and if you wish to this interface to be up so add this command now should VSRX is exported as you see as XR which is configured with some some host name so uh, we can do IP uh, IPv that's IPv4 address uh, 192.168.90.100.255.255.255. I believe it is. I believe it is. And uh, no shutdown and no shutdown. We are re releasing this command. Okay, interface gigabit. IPv4 address. I, I think I think I'm I'm right. So such way you can edit your exported configuration. The six point set node boot from my saved configuration. Okay. When you when we are coming when when you are going to start up configurations, so our configurations are tuned, are ready to be as initials, but it is not done yet. For that, more actions and set nodes startup config to export it this means once your node will start they will grab configuration from this place from startup let's do it set node startup to export it i set it so balloons are setting that saying done and now let's check startup configurations here again look at this symbol the small lightning symbol appeared the small lightning symbol appeared this means that next time your node will boot from this configuration once you did wipe so delete the nvram i will show you the next step what i will do the your configure your node will start from this configuration what we did here okay okay good so and no to wipe nvram it's time to wipe an nvram so all running configuration whatever you did here will be erased so node will be so with a range of con a range of this nvram that all node is prepared to grab configuration from your startup let me do it so i'm going to mark all you can you can do it it's a four parts but you will figure it very very soon yourself and i'm saying wipe selected this mean i'm confirming that i will wipe all my running configurations which are present on these nodes and i'm saying yes so wipe it nodes will nodes will stop now and these nodes are ready to boot from our startup configuration which is exported and save it here let's do it i'm saying to more actions and start all nodes before this is very important before you want before you are going to boot from your exported configurations you have to do wipe nvram because if nvram persists node will not boot from this configuration once wipe is done node will look where is my configuration here okay good next one start node time time to boot clock symbol you remember that i show i shown you in under uh, edit lab that we have a script timeout here and you will see the small clock symbols appear on a couple of nodes which are via ios via ios mostly all, all nodes can can appear this clock symbol what does it mean this means the script that timeout which we configured before is working and node is booted and started but it is waiting until the configuration will be loaded from your save it startup configurations it will take a time but let me open up some node okay csr csr vios xr and juniper this is this is a very good sign once you are seeing the clock symbol is here later after node will be booted fully booted this clock symbol will change to the triangle all right the clock symbol appears only in on kimu nodes which is asa uh, vios csr uh, srx or xr it is not appear clock on iol nodes and dynamics okay 
as well as well on this small host now we need to wait until node is boot so i'm going to pause ah switch is booted yeah, it's an, you can see that very interesting command new appeared configuration generated from flash and loaded and applied to nvram this means that our switch is booted from configuration and you can see the clock symbol is changed to triangle you remember that we edited this configuration before boot so i added a couple of vlans so let's check now show vlan oops no vlans where is the transparent mode did i or it was in other did I uh, should be VTP did I did I mistake some uh, probably not let me wipe again okay I'm back it's uh, I did one small mistake be careful uh, in a startup configuration of switch one when I added the VLANs I left a one unnecessary space here yeah so be very careful when you are changing the configurations they must must fit okay so i corrected and rebooted my switch and now we can see that all vlans persist and everything is fine so my switch booted from exported configuration xrv is still booting so we did some changes okay we will wait now um, So it's booted and you so it's booted and you can see that uh, configuration which I added like IPv4 address is persist here and all my clock symbols are changed to triangles so everything is fine and everything is booted so uh, what's next mm -hmm. boot clock symbol I explain it so start set node booter from none configuration is actually start from default configuration what I'm going to do you can mark all your nodes you can actually do it from more actions or you can mark just the two couple of two nodes and look at this I'm going to set node startup configuration to none okay I just did it and if you're going to start up you will see the lightning symbol disappear it on rotor 1 and rotor 2 this mean means after a wipe these configurations, these nodes will will check uh, on this one wipe as well. Once I will start again these two nodes, the first thing he will go and check: Do I have a set boot from startup? No, no lightning symbol. It is no boot from startup. And okay, no the same. Okay, no startup configuration. I am booting itself let's start little bit wait until boot and you can see now so r1 and r2 booted but the prompting me the dialog so the absolutely no configuration so it is not booted from here because we set to none so these guys booted from scratch okay but if you're still coming here going here you can see that configuration still persists but we set to boot from none so it is do nothing with this configuration and the last one thing is delete startup delete startup exported configuration dangerous thing if you will do it from more actions delete all it will delete actually all startup configurations from here be careful so i'm going just delete it only for one device i'm selecting one device and saying delete uh, delete node startup configuration this one okay yes confirming and if you are going to start up you can see that it is stay it is become gray and no more configuration for r2 so i hope it will be informative for you and helpful for your next lobbying thank you very much for viewing